Hello everyone, welcome to Ted's Nerd World. I am Ted. I hope you're doing well and I want to thank you for joining me today because we've got another awesome sci-fi fan film. This one is from Movie Brats Pictures. I'll have the links down below. It is called Astronauts. And just from seeing this first scene flash up on the screen when I paused it here, it looks like it's going to make my Texas accent come in just a little bit more on this one. So let's just get to it, all right? Astronauts from Movie Brats Pictures. Here, I got it set up. Let's go. Astronauts. All right, I got it up all the way. Oh. Let's get some subtitles going. I love subtitles. I know a lot of people can't stand them, but sorry. Sun's up! Man, you need to be up working! And my dad would wake us up making noise every morning. He was up morning, and Earl. going. Hope I didn't wake you up. What are you doing up there, Joe? And just putting the finishing touches on her, ain't she a peach? <laughs> well, what the hell is it? It's a subspace interstellar communications array, of course. <laughs> you gotta love those YouTube um, subtitles. Sometimes they can be a little fun. Looks like it's got subtitles in it, so I'm just gonna turn them off. Looks like Texas. It's flat, brown, hot. What the? He got a base station CB. This is Joe McNutt. Can anyone hear me, please? Hello. Hello, this is Earth. Come in over. <laughs> Bill, what the hell are you trying to do? <laughs> Trying to contact me, an alien race, Earl. Well, do you have to do it now? Why not? Well, no. I suppose not. <laughs> During the game? I trying to listen over here. Hello, space. Come in over. <laughs> this is Joel McNutt to space. Aww. Yeah, well, you know. That means your radio's gonna go off, too. 
Well, maybe not. Oh, here they come. Your message got out. Earl? Maybe it's a super what baby. Did you do? Probably some damn airplane toilet dropped its load. <laughs> Then why are you taking your gun? Because whatever it is, it's trespassing. Yeah. I love the hat. You coming? Nice. Nice. One small step for a Well, wait up, Earl. Come on, Earl, wait for me. Uh-oh. Yeah, that looked like squishy bits. This dang thing pulverized its <laughs> Oh, it hit a cow. Down. Okay. One cow. One bull. Hmm. Now, what are the chances of that happening? I've seen everything now. Except that, of course. Maybe you should poke it with a stick. I ain't poking it with no stick. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> That's it. Go on ahead. Give her a good poke there. <laughs> what, do you want me to do it? <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. It's gonna poke you. <laughs> I don't know why you thought you had to go poke it with a stick. Get it all pissed off. Keep your voice down, Joel. Now, I suppose we'll have one of them intergalactic wars or something. Whole damn planet will probably be taken over. You and I'll be the first to go, whatever. <laughs> I said keep your voice down, sides. There ain't no such thing as aliens. Then why are we hiding in a haystack? Because whatever it is, it might be dangerous. I think I understand. You're feared of the unknown. I ain't no fear to the unknown. <laughs> yes, you is. No, yes, you is. Yes, you is. No, I ain't. Yes, you is. Oh, now you all gone paranoid. How many times I got to say it? There ain't no such things as aliens. It's just you and me sitting on the porch, and that's all it's ever going to be. Oh, yeah. Hey! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> It's coming right for us. That'd be the government. Howdy, boys. Oh, nope. She's not even going to acknowledge them. 
Oh, here they come. Is this your property? Uh, yes, ma'am. Me and my brother, Joe. I'm Special Agent Carlisle with the NC-66. Over the past several months, we've been monitoring the deteriorating orbit of geostationary meteorological satellite number 216B4C10. At 2100 hours and 21 minutes, number 216B4C10 succumbed to the planet's gravitational pull, and we've since tracked its beacon to this location. We will now remove the satellite. Your cooperation, though mandatory, is appreciated. <laughs> though mandatory. <laughs> yep, we're out of here. What does that say on the side? Oh, I couldn't see it. Excuse me. What about my cow? Sorry? Whatever the hell that thing is, it crashed into my field and blew up my stud bull and milking cow. We are not trained to respond to that. Your country thanks you. Fair enough. Like, dude, I don't know. But I can't help you. I'm out. I suppose that's the government for you, Joel. Joel. Hey, you dropped this. Throw it in the trash, Earl. It's garbage. You sure? I mean, you never know. And those aliens will come down and... Uh... Aww. He really thought he had him something. Yep, yep. Pick up some cow bits and cook them. Makes you think, though, doesn't it? About what? About what? <laughs> you know, about what's out there. Here we are sitting on this porch. Night after night. Drinking the same beers. Never leaving this town. And then one day, out of the blue, Smack. Here comes a goddamn weather satellite. Crashes into your field and turns your best bull into hamburger. Or a couple of good steaks. And you realize we're not just sitting on this porch in the middle of this field. <clears throat> We are sitting on a front seat of a planet that is shooting its way all across space. And who knows, maybe even time. <laughs> In a way, Joel, you and me, we are astronauts. <laughs> yeah. I guess we is, ain't we? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. Man. Hey, Earl. That was awful good count me. Yeah, it wasn't half bad. Of course, it was probably crawling with radioactivity. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. Hey, Earl. Lord, what now? 
sure is one nice night. Oh yeah, beautiful yeah. views out in the country. You can see every damn star out there. Oh, there's a behind the scenes. Oh, I may have to watch that. Great job. That was so well done. Awesome story. Wow. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Okay. So, very cool. Very well done. Very well done. Thank you so much goes out to Movie Brat's Pictures, okay? I'll have the links down below. Go over there and check them out. That was really cool. So well done. Um, yeah. Earl and his childlike brother, Joel. Okay. Yeah. And then Earl, that awakens something in Earl, and he starts seeing the wonder of it all. Maybe he sees a little bit of what Joel sees. So that's awesome. Love seeing that. That was a great show. Great job. Great script. Wow. Great acting and everything, the editing and everything that makes these things. I just, there's so much stuff that goes into making a short film that nobody really thinks about. And especially me, I have no idea. I probably should look into it a little bit more. <laughs> Thanks a lot for joining me here. Please go over there, check them out. Like I say, I'll have the links down below. Come back here, leave me a comment down below. Click that like button, click subscribe button, click that bell for notifications if you would. Until next time, I am Ted here at Ted's Nerd World saying thank you so much for joining me and take care. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. If you enjoy my videos, please click that like button, leave a comment below, and make sure you're subscribed so you can get notifications of all my future content. All of you are so great, and I want to thank each and every one of you for your support. Thanks for stopping in, and I hope to see you again real soon. Take care.